All right, so here's a comparison of the old and the new part. The new part is branded the KYB brand, and that's a very highly recommended brand. It's one of those premium aftermarket brands. Now, they have two types. They have the regular um, type and the XLG. XLG is really what you want to go for. It's the performance one. Um, don't get the regular one. I've seen the reviews on it. Um, so just go for XLG. Now the genuine after uh, the genuine price for these is 125, um, I think all together. So the price for the aftermarket KYB is seventy dollars together. So that means thirty five a piece. And I think my dad no the aftermarket price is a hundred dollars altogether. But my dad was able to get it for seventy dollars. Uh, I think I got one of the things wrong. The actual price for the uh, genuine uh, rear shock absorber is actually $125 a piece. So these new aftermarket ones, these premium ones are $35 a piece. So that means they're like a third of the price of the genuine one. If you remember in our video on the front shock absorbers or the front struts, we got the cheapest brand possible. Um, it was Chinese made. Uh, the, the, the genuine went for around $250 on the front strut but we decided to get a cheaper $60 strap. All right, it's even made in the USA, so that's a, a, a huge difference. On the front strap, we use the uh, Chinese-made, cheapest quality you could find. But the thing is, the driver's uh, comfort is not as important as the passenger's comfort, especially. So we used the best we could find, uh, you know. Although we, we still tried to stay on budget a bit. But KYB, highly recommended. Like I said, $70 altogether. So let's see just how good the suspension is. So let me just take this off. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's extend it. Okay. Let's see how good this is at suspension. Oh, oh, that was nice. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's do both of these side by side. And it looks like this one is Gonna take a while to get up here. So as you can see, the Excel G KYB rear shock absorber seems to win out in this battle of parts. So like I said before, highly recommended. Okay, so just for sake of comparison, if you wanna find out more, I talk more about it in my other video on the driver's side, but just for sake of comparison, I mean, while we're here, and I also did this in the other video, but Okay, let's see how fast it takes them. Just look at how terrible the suspension on the original is. Therefore, it is definitely evident that we need to replace it. 